Hey, you guys, <clears throat> check me out. I want to do something here. I want to teach you something about Baphomet. All right. Uh, I was really just putting this on to see if it would work, and it looks like it's going to work. So, you know, I uh, apologize for making fun of the devil like that, but, you know, you know, guys got got to do what he got to do. <clears throat> uh, when it comes down to, like, um, I'm in charge because I'm the designer. I'm the one that's building stuff and creating stuff. Yeah, I created Baphomet. I made him look funny, you know. But anyways, we can do that if we want, all right? But anyways, to take a little bit of the heat off of it, I was hoping to show what it really is, you know. I've, I've talked about it up, up, up to the nines, you know, but I haven't really, I haven't done a little drawing before. I'm cooking something too, so I've got to do this quickly, all right? Oh, maybe I shouldn't do this now. That's right. Mm. Well, anyways, this is Baphomet. I got five minutes. Baphomet here. Oh, shit. I don't have five minutes. Give me one minute. Okie doke. Sorry about that. Uh, I could just start this whole thing all over again, but, you know, I don't care. Just stop it or go forward or backward. It's cool. Um, anyways, Baphomet. Um, this is what, um, uh, what's that girl's name? Madonna. She always is doing this and all these girls, she's just that's taking on this feminine energy and stuff like that. This is this is this is the devil. The, you know, there's a lot of pictures of hell and devils and devils of this. You know, even Shiva. They make Shiva out to be um, the destroyer. She's not. It's not the devil. That particular part of her, the dancing part. You know, that's out in front of her, and it's about it's the destructive part. But it's like going to uh, the Lord's day, going through the wrath. You know, God. It's the same thing. It's that same energy. It's that same cleansing, the change over from what was once before, and now a whole new thing can start all over again. But it's just a positive thing. But anyways, uh, so the devil comes in all different shapes and sizes. But for the most part, he's red because it's working with the emotions, and so that's what red is. Red and, and the moon. The moon is sin, emotion, sin, who knows so who knows more about sin? Sin was the moon god. It was named that way, all right. And and believe it or not, you know, it's it's sort of along the lines of, you know, the the Allah. Allah being the moon god as well. Having having to have everything to do with what is outside of us. Anyways, it's horned. Horns. It's got two horns because you know it's that idea that it's for strength. All right, and that's what horns mean. And when Abraham is supposed to give up his firstborn Isaac, what does he do? He turns around and he finds a little ram caught up in the thickets by its horns became the sacrifice, you know, that this was, it wound up not being Isaac. Isaac means laughter. He was something he was supposed to give up. It's this idea of giving up your skin. And that skin represents your firstborn, a son. This is the whole idea behind your brother. Here it is, is, is your firstborn, your son. But it's, 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 it's the same thing. It's the idea of the brother, the messenger. Messengers have wings. He's got wings on him too. All right. 
it generally also means spirit. It's when you go in spirit, it's this idea of flight. And it doesn't mean that they have wings on them. Like when you saw, I saw an angel that had wings. They really, do. I would, I would tell you this, that there's not a physical thing about them that they would have to have wings to make them fly. All right, there's nothing like that at all. It's all part of the folly. All right, so here, I want to tell you about ourselves, okay? This has a five, five stars, a pentagram, you know? Lucifer is like the morning star. And if you knew the morning star, like I know the morning star, it precursors the, 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 new, the new day, the new sun. And so it's on its way up to be purified. That's what it means. It's that whole idea. You know, this is the rising star. He is also the light bearer. He has to be. He's you and me. And when he gets his season, when his season is done, he's been promised. He's been promised that you belong to him for however long it takes you to get out of your slumber. He'll let you loose then, all right? But, you know, you have to trick yourself into this. This is what the whole idea behind, you know, taking that inheritance, you know, taking the, the first taking the inheritance from, from something. Now, this way, you can then be in charge of yourself. And not this. This is the lower mind. That's what represents the lower side. He has a kundalini system. His kundalini goes from the root through to the stomach. This is where he comes. He only goes three chakras high. I wrote over here. I've got these little chakras over here. This is the root. This is the sacrum. And uh, this one here. This, this one here belongs to the solar plexus. All right, that's the stomach. That's why whenever it's sweet on, on the mouth and bitter in the stomach because the Satan is, that gets poured out, it, this is the seat of Satan. This is Pergamos, the third church in our business, our church business. So what we get is um, when we go under, when we go and, you know, under from our exercising of the third, the single eye. This is where the seed. He, this is as far as he goes. He represents what is lower. He, 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 and we in our single in our in our half mind brain situation represent what is lower. All right, but he is also he's a teacher in this. So we don't necessarily say oh, he's evil and scary and stuff like that, but. We have someone, we grow up as children, we're afraid of this guy. It's scary. But he's really, he's ourselves. That's you and me. We're the ones running around chasing our own tails. But the seat of Satan is the solar plexus, the third church. All right? The seat of the soul, where we go to sit between mother and father, it's the sixth chakra. That's that place of rest. That's the top of the ladder. That's where where, um, where where Jacob sees, you know, God face to face. He calls the place Peniel. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. You know. But that's where it all is. It's male and female. It's either one. It's either us. It's this this devil is male and female. It. In its form, the person that wears the lower side and sucks or to, to, to live off of the lower side, to live from the lower, is, is to be a sodomite, to, to, to be someone who feeds from the lower. And um, it doesn't mean anything about, you know, doing any kind of sucking or anything like that whatsoever. It's the whole idea of drawing you lower, drawing your attention to the lower situation. That, and if that's all you're doing, it controls you. These are some things. These are things that control the person. And uh, it's and most of all the stories are about having you know some kind of being chased, being chased, being chastened in some way that you're trying to hold off. You don't want to just pop that juice all over the place. You know, you, you want to harbor it for, so that you can, you know, 
tick off on the inside because that's that's the energy used that's the energy that's used inside of us that give us the lift you know i i know it sounds funny but you know when we when we try to discuss uh things that have some kind of wisdom to them something like uh, like what i do it just sounds too simple it sounds way too simple like there has to be more to it. Uh, you're like, oh, it's got to have bells and whistles and firecrackers blowing and stuff like that. You know, really, it's just a simple little thing. It's as simple as what I'm telling you. All right. This guy, that's father. Of course, he's a part of this. He's part of the works. When we're hanging out with father. He's showing us the, the, the ropes, having a great time. Mother is not even around. You know, we don't even know anything about her. We're growing our hair with dad, having a great time. And you know, he's like, oh, go ahead, go on. Hey, go on, and, you know, oh, oh, did you learn from that? Oh, you know, it's just, it's just beautiful. And that, you know, what we have is this chakra system being played out on this symbol of the devil and of course you and I it's a 666 is the side of a man it's the side of man and he is marked in his head in his forehead and his hand he's marked and it just means that he only has a certain time before it's over and at the end of the in the end of the stories he's had enough <laughs> he, he's not even had enough He's coming back from fighting. He wants more. He, he wants you back. He's, you know, this is the way it is. But he gets tossed into the water. But he's only cleaned up you. This is the whole idea. You know, Israel, Israel is the, the whole matrix. Everything, the, the, uh, the harpers harping. All, everyone is in accord. Everything is in accord. While we are in this lower phase, this is all that works for us is the lower things. We can't get above the sixth ladder. We can't get any higher than this. This is where it's cut off. We're not allowed to go any higher than that. We're not allowed to drink strong wine. We we got to grow our hair. And then that one day when we wanted, you know, to go over to the other side and receive our crown, you know, that's the whole idea. If you can persevere, if you can get over the hump, if you can make it over there, then um, you do what I'm doing. You kind of rest. I rest. I've slept. I did a lot of sleeping. I, I guess I needed it. And I don't know where it came from, but I did. I took some rest. I feel better. I've got more energy. And I, I've got more to talk and to tell you about. Anyways. That's, that's 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 him. That that's why people, whenever they start reading the book and start understanding it, they start saying Jesus and the devil are the same. Oh, well, let's go a little further than that. You and the devil are the same person. You are made in God's image, and this happens to represent the physical side of the world. He, this one represents materialism. He represents material matter. That everything that he says, he I'll take care of you, baby. You know, so half of his world, half of his world out there, the kingdoms and stuff are run by rich people and the different people take, trying to take over each other, and all on the lower people, the lower people down here having to strive in order to keep the top going, and and it's always been that. It always been that way, the haves and the have nots. This information, this storyline, God, in, in all the worlds, in all the different places, it has to do with coming to the lower people, to the meek, coming to those people. And what it is, is this idea of having that harness. It's, a, it's just a really good working horse who does whatever its master tells it to do. That's our ultimate. That's the ultimate thing is to win back over yourself. 
you understand? It's just beautiful. All right? Anyway, so don't fear this thing. Don't fear any of these things. Come to me and I'll tell you what they mean. All right? Anyway, I love you guys. I really do. And thanks for coming and joining me.